Hello, Transformers fans. It's Voltronics here. I haven't done a tour review in a while, so to get get back together with the schedule and everything, I decided to do my next review on The Fallen. He is the coolest Transformer toy ever. Well, not the coolest, but he is one of the most coolest Transformers toys ever. Why is he? Well, I love his detail. The form of his ship form is so cool. Much, In my opinion, it's much more cooler than Megatron's. Megatron's is all, like, cool. His is just, like, simple. Well, not totally simple, but small, simple, not so gigantic, and, and, and it looks so... It looks so badass in general. But anyways, besides my opinion, let's get on with with toy review. Alrighty. So as you can see, we have the ship form. You see the Decepticon symbol right there, if you can even see it, because of the crappy camera. Um, let's see. Ship the all right there. Um, these things come in and out. Um. These things stick here, you'll find out why. It's really stupid, but you'll find out. Um, now, I wish this thing was able to lock in place, but it doesn't. It just, like, flips out. But, oh well, I mean, I don't think anyone wants to have a hole in the middle of the fallen face, but, oh well. <laughs> that would just ruin the toy, but, anyways, his feet, you can see his feet right here, but it really, in my opinion, it really does blend in with the ship. It doesn't... it makes it look... Just, it's just so cool. I love the design, how they have it to make it look like um, engines or whatever. Um, you can see his hands right here. Um, another complaint right here that I'll talk about is these flames. I mean... Uh, it's, uh, I don't really like him. You'll find out why. Um, that's pretty much it. I mean, you can see the bottom right here. Pretty cool. I love the the jet form, you know. Can't wait to do it for like stop motion stuff. I haven't done it yet, but I will soon. Like probably do a test of it. See how it goes. All right, so let's see how we'll transform this big guy. All right, um, I might transform this guy around because you know it doesn't really matter which way you transform. Just try to make it look accurate at least. It's the only thing you have to worry about. All right, um. So first what we'll do is that we'll take his legs down. There's these little pegs right here. And take it down. It's like right in here, like between this huge engine, his arm and this thing. Take him down, bring him down like this. Go like halfway there. Because what you're going to do with the legs is that you're going to twist them to the left. I think it's like 90 degrees or whatever. Pretty much. Not really 90 degrees, but oh, I really don't. I'm not- oh shoot, look, something just came off. Oh boy. Hopefully I know how to put this back on. Ah, there we go. That's what happens with cheap plastic. Be aware. Alright, so we bring this same thing with the other leg, but hopefully I won't break it this time. Sorry if I'm, like, out of focus here. Um, now with this, you turn it around... oh wait, you know, you took it that way. <laughs> Sorry. Keep it that way. Um, with the feet, you turn all the way around. So now we have the legs done. For this thing, you... Well, let's not get to that right yet, because you're supposed to twist him. You can see that his front part's in the back. You need to change that. Because I don't think you want him walking like this. I mean, you won't know where he's going! Besides, if anyone's attacking him from behind, that is. So anyways, what you want to do is, um... Flip this down, for now, turn him all the way around, so, you know, he goes good with his leg, so make sure everything's in the front. And what you do here, um, take his arms apart, and be very, very gentle, because this can come off so easily, watch. See? It comes off very easily, you gotta, like, watch. It's easy to put back on, just watch anyways. I mean, if you're stop doing stop motion this guy, you have that part coming off. I'm trying to get this other side down. 
like I said, if you have an arm, if the arm comes off while you're doing the stop motion on this guy, um, yeah, you might screw up your whole stop motion on him. Hopefully we can get him into view. Hold on a second. There, that's better. I just had to get my crappy DVD player out of the way. So anyways, um, here you go. Got him right here. So you can see, uh, I better keep this up. Um, it looks kind of wrong. I always start with my pervertish, um, opinions or whatever you call it. Here's its form. Um, see the front here? His, I love the, um, the model of this. It's just, it's so cool. I mean, he looks so badass. I think he's cooler than Megatron, sort of. Well, I don't know. Because he's much more, like, flexible. You can do many things as he's a little skinnier. Megatron's like so bulky that you have to like go oh. But yeah. Um let's go to the positive and negative parts. Alright, negative parts first. This right here, I hate. He looks like a little flower. Look, he looks like a flower. Can't you see that? Look the phone doesn't look so bad at all. It's like when that appears, all robots are like, "Oh, look at the little flower!" And then he's all like, "Ah, oh. hey, I'm hyper. I can't help it. Sorry, I'm in a hyper mood. You know, sorry if I'm acting a little weird." Anyways, um, so yeah, just put it in like that. You have to like slide his head up or down. I think. Okay, you slide his head. If it's up, you slide his head down. Then it pulls out, but I suggest not using it for any stop motion because he will look really stupid. To make sure that doesn't pop up, like pull his head, slide his head up. These flames on the side, another thing I really don't like. It kind of ruins the image. But ju I just keep him down until, unless he's in jet mode, then I keep him up because it's cooler in jet mode. Um, that's pretty much it, I think. Oh, this peg thing here. I don't know. I know Night Flash 2020 um, went with this, and I don't know how it goes. I never tried it, and I saw how they do it, and it looks really retarded. It, like, ruins the image, too, so I just keep it back like that, or just keep it up front how it was. Those are, those are my only negative stuff. I mean, he's really cool. There's really only a few negatives. Um, now, I think Night Flash said that um, he had trouble with the feet. Really, I have no trouble at all. So, yeah. He's actually really cool. I mean, you can turn, you can flip this out, and becomes this blaster. You know, boom, boom. How it is right there. That's pretty much it. I mean, there's nothing else that's much to it except he kicks ass hard. Well, not in the movie that is, but I mean, in any other stop motion you guys make. Make sure he kicks butt really hard because, you know, Michael Bay made him pathetic. I was expecting him to, like, at least throw some punches at Optimus Prime, even though I love Optimus Prime, but at least throw some punches at Abbott or rip someone apart, but apparently, apparently he didn't. It's mostly the revenge of the Decepticons, not the Fallen. It kind of disappoints me. It really disappoints me. So anyways, this is pretty much it. Um, hopefully you like this review. Sorry I was a little hyper at some parts, but... I'm a, like, an evening person. I get hyper in the afternoon, and I get pretty hyper in the evening, too, but not too hyper, you know. Anyways, don't listen to me. Hopefully you enjoyed the review, um, and you all have a great day.